Now, does retrieval practice really make a difference to learning? Now, research time and time again suggests that retrieval practice, or low stakes testing sometimes it's called, is one of the most effective ways to improve long-term retention and knowledge in the classroom. This new blog looks at a piece of research from 2019. Most studies that I've read often derive from laboratories, not classrooms, and in high schools and colleges, not in primary classrooms. And this recent research reviewed retrieval practice conducted across different age groups from primary school children to university students. And they discovered, here's the paper just here, um, that only 67 articles uh, from those 67, just 23 were conducted in actual classrooms. Now here's a question for you. How many of these 23 studies do you think were based in actual classrooms? Three. So now this poses lots of questions for me because there's an abundance of retrieval practice research and strategies and online tools. However, much of them are derived from recommendations in laboratories and in secondary or in colleges. So as ever, my question to you is, what retrieval practice tools, techniques, would you recommend across different primary subjects and look at the research. There's a database here where I'm trying to differentiate all those different types. As ever, thanks for watching and let me know how you get on.